наши руки, мы в поисках больших денег, мы в деле круглые сутки, богатство Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя Я скрутился в тебе потолще, эй, я выдыхаю с тебя All right, y'all, to this episode of Bake That Radio Show. I am your host, Andreas, and as you see, to my left, to y'all's right, we have Miss Shira Yantisa. Yay! Hi. <laughs> um, let's see here. So, our origin story of meeting each other or learned about one another mm -hmm. very briefly, well, a few years ago, back at Booker T. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since then, she's come out of her shell. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's talk about that. Um, you why? Okay, so why do music, right? Because then there's another part to this question. Because mm -hmm. um, as you stated in different, you know, other interviews and just talking to you and stuff like that, mm -hmm. background vocals, you know, is like your thing. Right. So now you're pursuing it as a solo artist, which puts way more spotlight on you, mm -hmm. right? Um, but why even pursue music at all as far as a craft to put yourself out there in the public and then why take it to the next level of being a solo artist? Um, so music has always been my thing. Mm -hmm. um, I've always sang. Mm -hmm. I come from a singing family. Mm -hmm. Like um, I've always been in the band. I uh, started out playing clarinet in elementary mm -hmm. school. Okay. Um, switched over to French horn in mm -hmm. high school. Then marching band, symphony band. I went to college on a band scholarship. So where did you go to school? At? Um, Morris Brown. I was in. Okay, you went to HBCU. Yeah. You didn't go to Fort Valley, but hey, you know. <laughs> you, went to, you went to HBCU. You know, I did. You still love. <laughs> so music has always been a very prevalent in a big part of my life for real. So. Um, now as far as pursuing it as a craft, like now, um, I've always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Like you said, background vocals was always what I wanted mm -hmm. to do. Um, so when Billy, Billy Slum, mm -hmm. uh, gave me the opportunity, I definitely was like, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, why do I choose now to pursue it as a solo artist? Um, initially it was just, um something I was trying, mm -hmm. um, something that was suggested to me by Billy and mm -hmm. Kenny Pratt. Mm -hmm. um, I, I took it seriously, but mm -hmm. not too seriously mm -hmm. because I personally didn't think of myself as an artist in that, right? I didn't think that I had the chops to be a solo artist initially. Um, okay. But um, with the push from them, mm -hmm. um, by pointing me in the right direction, getting mm -hmm. me into vocal lessons, mm -hmm. like, really studying and mm -hmm. learning um you know i'm here now so mm -hmm. i'm here <laughs> that's what's up i like the fact that they did that you know i'll just bleep uh slum's name whatever <laughs> you get too much promo now i'm just playing <laughs> i'm glad you pushed um but what where does that where did that doubt come from though like what is the origin of that because I would imagine, like, you know, with you getting band scholarships and stuff like that, you mm -hmm. singing, mm -hmm. your uh, network or, you know, your close circle of people and influencers mm -hmm. would be like, hey, why don't you pursue this, whatever. Because not all singers and songwriters actually can play instruments. So mm -hmm. that makes you more well-rounded musician. Mm -hmm. um, so you understand music from a different standpoint. You understand it from the technical standpoint mm -hmm. and you understand it from like, you know, the creative standpoint. Mm 
Um, so the doubt, I never doubted myself as a background singer because mm -hmm. I've always sang in a group setting. Mm -hmm. Band is a group setting. Mm -hmm. I've never been in the spotlight like that before. Mm -hmm. So um, I knew I know how to blend. Mm -hmm. I know how to sing with other people. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never, I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really guarded mm -hmm. and kind of shy. I don't really mm -hmm. feel like I have a a uh, personality mm -hmm. that would people would be like oh she, yeah she can do that mm -hmm. <laughs> well i don't think i yeah. i my personality is like really mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. people see me and be like oh she looks mean <laughs> i don't think that I think you look mean. <laughs> well, you know, well again my personality matches well with personalities like yours mm -hmm. because I'll just walk up to you and just start talking, and mm -hmm. so it then forces you. Right, right, right. <laughs> this is why I tell people, like, you just speak to me like I'm instantly mm -hmm. going to smile and, and mm -hmm. start talking. Um, but I've just never been in the spot like that, mm -hmm. like that before, so I just didn't think I ever could. Mm -hmm. No one has ever told me mm -hmm. before Billy mm -hmm. and Kenny that mm -hmm. I could actually do it. Mm -hmm. So I always just thought of myself as the background person, just okay. the support. So, okay, so if, if Slum didn't switch over and start really doing his uh, R&B thing, mm -hmm. do you think the opportunity of you being pushed into the spotlight would have been there? No, I don't. I mean, I feel like um, from a spiritual standpoint, if mm -hmm. it was something that I was meant to do and I feel mm -hmm. like I'm doing what I'm meant to do, the opportunity would have eventually come around. Mm -hmm. in some type of way but it was like so organic mm -hmm. uh for it to be billy we went to school together mm -hmm. we were already like really cool mm -hmm. and it just made it easier oh okay mm -hmm. that's what's up i yeah. know, know you went to school together yeah that's what's up you know so shout out to slum and shout out to me for telling us something to keep on going <laughs> and pushing the r&b for sure <laughs> 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 no, nah, he get, he gives a credit away. I just be like, you know, as you probably have seen, we play a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> one another. I actually got a funny skit I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna do later <laughs> on concerning him. Um, okay, so uh, let's see here. You did your uh, album, uh, Private Listening Party, on the first, mm -hmm. and you put out your first single, um, and now you know put out the entire EP project. Mm -hmm. um, chance and with this single uh, guards down so far what has been the reception of it how people embraced it how do you feel about the fact that now it's out um i'm, I'm feeling really good about it i feel like um i did some good work mm -hmm. um for it to be my first time mm -hmm. i'm really happy with the result mm -hmm. Um, people are really receptive. I'm getting really good feedback, um, so far. Um, I'm just happy that people are listening. Mm -hmm. I really didn't have a big expectation or an expectation at all for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but to just know that people are listening is enough for me right now. That's what's up. I like that. Um, so where do you see yourself going now that you've gone through this trans, this, uh, you know, this transition of being mm -hmm. able to do that, um, is out now. People can access it and go listen to it, and you have these wonderful songs, and they're, and they're very diverse. And we'll talk about mm -hmm. that in a, in a minute. Um, where, where do you want to like go forward? Oh, um, definitely, I plan to push the project. I want to, you know, see it do really well. I'm gonna, I'm still writing. Mm -hmm. I plan on recording more music mm -hmm. um, and just improving daily, like getting better and better in my craft. So. Okay. So. The songs that are on the project, right, mm -hmm. is well rounded. You got the one song that sounds like a wedding song. Mm -hmm. You got the uh, the, sing the single "Guards Down." Mm -hmm. um, then you have the other song I like, um, the real seductive song. All night. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, all night. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you know, I like music like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I did, I did the whole album. Mm -hmm. that has that type of theme or whatever. Okay. So it shows the versatility of a person because you know we're not monolithic creatures or whatever, right? We're not just stagnant and we don't just fit within a, a circumference or something. Mm -hmm. We're diversified individuals and we have all different type of experiences. Sure. So when you was putting an EP together, were you like intentionally thinking about things like that to where you can present music that way or? Um. When I was writing, I literally just started out just just writing. Mm -hmm. um, 
um billy helped me with like what i needed to do with structuring songs like that mm -hmm. but i think at, uh, the further i got into it i wanted to tell a story mm -hmm. um and those four songs just you know have they just fit well together like mm -hmm. it's like a progression of a love story like i, mm -hmm. I met somebody we took a chance we didn't know each other mm -hmm. like we being vulnerable with each other now we in love mm -hmm. and then all the other stuff that comes along with it mm -hmm. um so i i um as a consumer of music mm -hmm. love to listen to music that has meaning behind it okay um so i definitely wanted to take that approach with my project and i like that too because um uh, i think sometimes that's lost in art nowadays mm -hmm. um you know, people don't think about like, you know, the impact that they want to have. Mm -hmm. They just like, you know, go like vibes and feelings and wish that some of that stuff is cool. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that uh, survives or, you know, the test of time. Mm -hmm. These are nature. So you write, you sing um, backgrounds, you sing your stuff mm -hmm. as far as performing. You've been doing a lot of performances lately. Yes. Um, what have you been enjoying the most or, you know, where's that, that satisfaction? Um, what I've been enjoying the most now is um, being more confident in my stage presence. Okay. That was a big um, challenge for me. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I've never been out front before. So a lot of people, I'm just getting feedback from a lot of people, like from last year to mm -hmm. now, like, wow, your confidence on stage, your mm -hmm. stage presence, like you're all in the room. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that um, I've been able to improve in that area. So for me right now, of course, I love to sing. I love to sing, mm -hmm. but you know, seeing myself improve in areas, you know, that I had challenges in, mm -hmm. is very gratifying. Okay, that's what's up. So you're performing more with uh, Blueprint as far as the band. Mm -hmm. Have you performed? Because um, I'm like, that's what the band. Have you had any performances outside of a band where it's just like, you know, you singing over your songs, it's like, you know, performance tracks and stuff, or not yet. Your experience has been with mm -hmm. the band? Um, most of my experiences have been with the band, well, all of them pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I love performing with the live band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, you know, there's nothing like it. Yeah, um, but I uh, do have, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be having opportunities coming up pretty soon to mm -hmm. just perform with um, backing tracks but and we have all that in order when it's when the time comes for it that's what's up so um oh, there's something I, I just had it was on the tip of my tongue oh. sometimes i do this you know i get a little break for it. <laughs> it happens but, you know, it just is what it is. oh the, the, okay so the business side of music right mm -hmm. uh what have you learned so far and have you had any, uh, I guess, encounters that wasn't like as pleasant? Um, I don't, I can't say that I've had any unpleasant encounters as of yet. Like, I don't, I don't want to, but I'm sure well, it's a know, part it, of it. It's a part of it, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if we want it or not. <laughs> um, what was surprising to me, like, um, I guess the, that was really naive and getting into it. It's like, I just thought it was like, hey, you record the music, you put it out, that, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of back end stuff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's like admin stuff. I was like, I gotta do admin? What is going on? <laughs> yeah. You have to make sure, um, you know, the stuff on the back end is correct. And I definitely wanna thank you for making sure <laughs> that um, I understood what the mm -hmm. back end looks like and mm -hmm. making sure um, that I'm taking care of that part as well. So I appreciate you for that. Oh, you know, I feel like, you know, it's my <laughs> obligation to be able to help, especially when you start your careers out and stuff. Because mm -hmm. when you're equipped with the uh, proper information, going forward you know how stuff should look mm -hmm. and you won't experience these horror stories that a lot of people experience which you know i wish it would stop happening but i get it you know what i'm saying because there's no blueprint for success in mm -hmm. the music business right regardless of the stories that are put out as far as like you know different people doing different things um because what works for you might not work for somebody else and vice versa mm -hmm. um so there's there's no entry into the music business there's no like building where you can say hey i'm going to jump into the music business and not go to this building like mm -hmm. you can with a job and stuff like that right you know what I'm saying? so mm -hmm. so i tell people like it's like a networking thing and like learning the business side and learning 
it 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 uh it evolves. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's more stuff, and I'm like, you know, there's some new stuff that I learned, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is uh, it's a whole lot to it, and you have to be like enthralled into it. Right. Um. How do you uh decide like you know, um like your look and stuff like that because when your uh both of your your albums uh your album artwork and your single mm -hmm. um i really do like the cleanness of them mm -hmm. um as far as you can tell that there was a thought process behind it mm -hmm. you can tell that you know it was it's quality um and you know the you want to present something that's more polished mm -hmm. it doesn't look like you know amateur right type stuff mm -hmm. um well one thing about me even when i'm doing something new i always wanted to make sure that i'm representing myself well mm -hmm. um i never want to do anything halfway mm -hmm. um now as far as my look um my personal look, I'm like really laid back, always casual in the sneakers. Mm -hmm. Like I'll dress up, but it's not my mm -hmm. my thing. Um, I'm gonna credit my look um, and my image to uh, Miss Ashley Monique okay. Wilson. I went to her. Um, I consulted with her um, about what I wanted my image to look like, mm -hmm. um, and I really appreciate her because she took all the stuff that I said. And she came up with something um, that still represents my personal personality mm -hmm. as well as enhancing me as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, she's amazing. Like all this, the the um, outfits um, on my covers were made by her. Mm -hmm. She styled and designed me. Um, the photo shoot was done by Aaron Brown. Mm -hmm. um, he's really good. Um, and every, just, everything just came out really, really good. Um, my artwork on there was done by Rod Wolfhawk. I actually went to school with him as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel like I've been blessed to be put in the path mm -hmm. of people that, you know, are serious about their craft mm -hmm. and are serious about, you know, making sure that they put their, their best foot forward for the people that they work with as well. I like that you mentioned all these different people because the thing I like about your rollout, right, mm -hmm. and you putting yourself out there, is the fact that you consulted with, you know, someone who does, you know, fashion and, mm -hmm. and help you with your image. You um, did the, uh, you know, the stuff with me. You uh, did the stuff with uh, Slum, and you've been uh, speaking with Kenny, and it's just you're you're using your resources mm -hmm. like you're supposed to, right? As <laughs> an artist. <laughs> As opposed to you know, just jumping out there and just throwing something, uh, caution to the wind. Mm -hmm. um, where did that mentality actually come from, or like, why did you choose the approach that you chose? I'm gonna say that approach I learned using my resources from my corporate, mm -hmm. <laughs> the corporate world. Um, I worked for uh, 13 years at one of the biggest companies mm -hmm. here in Macon, and they really pushed big on using your resources mm -hmm. using what you have mm -hmm. to get options and solutions and mm -hmm. presenting those options and solutions in the best way and mm -hmm. that's always stuck with me so mm -hmm. i definitely apply that in all areas of my life I, yeah i like that you know, I mean, because, <laughs> you know like i said it's thought behind it and i think uh when you attack the situations like that it, it it probably brings even more to you mm -hmm. than what you're either paying for or you like you're getting a higher value mm -hmm. um, because people see that you really want it right and that you know you're not just like you know some other folks who run around here and just like you know they say they want it but they don't mm -hmm. um, and your actions prove that you really want this and to be able to be the best version of yourself mm -hmm. possible right um, okay so would you uh, so okay, so like, what's a a day in the life of you know Sherry and Tisa? Like, you know, what does it consist <laughs> of? You know, wake up with ideas and start jotting them down, writing the stuff, or like, you know, what, what do you do? I'm pretty regular. Like, I still work a regular job, mm -hmm. so the bulk of my day is working. Mm -hmm. um, I plan. I do schedule out time to practice vocally. Um, I take vocal lessons once a week, but mm -hmm. I do. Um, schedule time for um, daily practice in at least an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm also currently taking piano lessons, so okay, I carve out time for that. Um, 
uh, um, I pray, I meditate, I make mm -hmm. sure I take out time for writing and the rest, most of the bulk of my night is spent um, right now just working on my website, making mm -hmm. sure all of my back end stuff is up to date, mm -hmm. um, checking my socials mm -hmm. and then spending time with my daughter and going to bed. <laughs> When you decide to pursue this, right? Mm -hmm. How did your core react? Um, your core, you know, uh, circle and everything, where they were like, "Yay, go ahead, jump out there," or they were like a little reserved. Or... No, actually, I'm really private. I mm -hmm. um, really didn't talk to them about it. <laughs> <laughs> Here like, I go, bam! Like, there it my, is. Even my mom, I was like, um, "I'm going to the studio." She was like, "What? What you doing in the studio?" <laughs> know that they knew I was um, I started singing backgrounds with Billy um, mm -hmm. but I I really didn't start to tell people like hey I'm really working on music mm -hmm. until it got close to where I was almost done mm -hmm. um, and everybody was like oh you, mm -hmm. you really working on like mm -hmm. yeah that's what I'm saying I want you to know because you know there's no uh, room for um, what is it fears and projections mm -hmm. onto you right. and to taint like the process a mm -hmm. little bit. Whether yeah. it be good or bad. Um, you know, I, I like to figure things that way because you know, they don't know they can't <laughs> feed you information that then you can internalize it, it'll make you make a different decision. Mm -hmm. Um so did you record any songs that wasn't on the E P that didn't make the cut or Um so I started recording two other songs. Mm -hmm. Um that I, I never got a chance to finish. Um, those are tabled right now until okay. I started recording. But yeah, mm -hmm. I have um, like songs written mm -hmm. um, that I do plan on recording or having someone record. Um, oh, so you so you're <laughs> going to get into the song <laughs> hey, like writing? You know, look, I mean, hey, okay. yeah, I'm open to. That's what's up. Like. No, I like that though because you know some some. Like Mary J, right? Mary mm -hmm. J. Blige doesn't write any of her music. Mm -hmm. um, people don't know that. And you, well, you know, people who know how to access that information mm -hmm. can, you know, you can see it. But it, there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying it for it's a bad thing, but there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. because some people don't have that ability to put a song together. Right, right. They might have like ideas or something, but again, this is a uh, process where you know you have to structure it in a certain way mm -hmm. and then be able to get someone else to convey that same type of uh, idea that you have right. and produce it and then put it out to where the consumers are receiving it the same way all along those stages. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely, you know what I'm saying? I get that. So, I'm going to open up, you know, diversification of what you can do, money that can come in, all sorts of stuff. Um, you, uh, you mentioned uh, merch earlier. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of merch can people get and support? Um, so, right now I have t shirts um, available. I know a lot of people don't really have CD players anymore, but mm -hmm. I have CDs, like hard copy CDs, mm -hmm. um, and posters. This, I'm starting small right now. <laughs> right. You found in the posters? Yes, absolutely. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. I like, I like that you're doing all that um, because you're like you're you're meshing the creative with the business mm -hmm. and i mean that's what it takes multiple streams of revenue from this and there's no like, there's other stuff that we can talk about as well um the way you can tap into and really like bringing in these revenue sources to mm -hmm. be able to like you know tell that nine to five this is i'm doing this full time I'll tell you something you know what? <laughs> I, I, I love when you know because you have something right mm -hmm. and i want to tell you this if i didn't believe it i believe you have something to where you know Mm -hmm. You can really pursue this full time mm -hmm. um, with all these different paths of uh, revenue and stuff like that, and you know, make this a full uh, living, um, a, a full time living for you. So, uh, what what does your daughter think about you know what I'm saying you putting yourself out there like that? Um, she's really, um, <laughs> she's definitely proud of me. Mm -hmm. um, her, yeah, I think it's kind of weird for her because her classmates mm -hmm. listen to my music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's like. <laughs> Mama, well, they what's the age range? Uh, she, she, she's like, in high school, okay. so she's 15. Okay. And uh, she's like, Mama, they be at school singing your song. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That introduces you to an old new audience. Um, <laughs> Did, did, did I ever tell you that like I got music out? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my kids, some of my kids be listening to my stuff, mm -hmm. and then they also listen to slump stuff too. Mm -hmm. 
And then you go around, you know, just play it and stuff like that or mm -hmm. whatever. And then the other kids, and I'm like, that's how, like, organically, that's how stuff gets around or whatever. Right. And that's how stuff, uh, like, even on, like, TikTok or whatever, all these different songs that came out, like, years ago um, end up being more popular or just as popular on TikTok mm -hmm. and makes a resurgence. For sure. And the fact that, you know, you're a singer. So, mm -hmm. I believe that you can have a career that lasts a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe that for rappers as well, but I do understand that uh, from the industry standpoint, they try to box them out and put them like within a five year span or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that, but you know, hey, it, it's just, it is what it is at mm -hmm. this particular point. But singers though, y'all can go on forever. You have the capabilities to. I'm like, you don't have to adhere to like a, a certain standard. Like, you don't have to be youthful to be a singer. Like Susan mm -hmm. Boyle, I don't know if you know who that is. Um, she was one of the contestants that was on like the show. That's sort of like uh, it was. The, it was the one that Simon Cowell was producing in England. It's the mm -hmm. Same version of American yeah, Idol, but uh -huh. it was like X Factor or something like mm -hmm. that. Fifty nine years old, get a record contract. Right. Um, so I'm like, you know, it's it's not a like youthful type of right. thing. Mm -hmm. You sing, you sing. Mm -hmm. And then there's all sorts of different opportunities to sing. You yeah. can sing at weddings, you can sing at funerals, you can sing at celebrations mm -hmm. and birthday parties and all sorts of stuff, graduations. I'm like, it's, it's pretty much limitless. Right. Um, the, you know, how y'all can put yourselves out there. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you see yourself like, you know, being able to do all that? Absolutely. Like, if you asked me that last year, I was like, absolutely not. But now, <laughs> I'm like, so that's the confidence, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm here for all of that. Like, literally. Mm -hmm. I, um, I want to share my gift mm -hmm. with anyone who's willing mm -hmm. to receive it. Okay. Yeah, so, hey. So, what about, like, collaborations and stuff like that? What, what's your viewpoints on that? Yeah, I would, I would definitely do collaborations. Of course, I got to get... Well, I actually have um, something. I've already collaborated with Billy and mm -hmm. Goody. Mm -hmm. um, on... I guess I can say this. I can say this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've collaborated <laughs> with Billy. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm here. So. Yeah, I've collaborated <laughs> with Billy on a song already. Um, it's not mm -hmm. released yet. It, mm -hmm. Actually, he's not singing on it. He's rapping on it. Um, okay. And then um, I've collaborated with Goody, uh, Goody Supreme. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I definitely want to, you know, collaborate with more artists. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Like I'm, I'm. So it could be singers or. Uh, yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Or or, as or, long or, or as pop or whatever. Yeah, as long as you know it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I think you can. Um, I think you have the versatility to like dive into like pop and uh, like rock and stuff like that as well. I listen to all that kind of music. Yeah, so. well, you know that's what I get from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The vibe <laughs> and stuff. Um, because you're very eclectic. Yeah. When it comes to music, so that's what's up. So uh, let everybody know how can they get in contact with you. Make sure you plug your website <laughs> and everything else. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So y'all can follow me on all socials. Shira Yantisa. That's S H E R A. Yantisa is Y-A-N-T-E-A-S-E-A. -E -E um, also, um, I have my website, shirayantisamusic.com. You can go on there and um, sign up for my mailing list. Um, y'all will be the first ones to get information. Um, of course, my music is available on all streaming platforms. So you make sure you go out there. Follow me on those streaming platforms. Add me to your library. Update your playlist. Put me on the playlist, okay? <laughs> I like that. Out it. All right, so y'all go, y'all follow. Very definitely talented person. Um, hey, she wouldn't be here if she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't interview anybody. Push out. Um, <laughs> but y'all can always, you know, go and follow, support. And then if you have not, go ahead and download that Bank Dot Radio Show app and uh, subscribe to everything Bank Dot Radio Show. And in the future. Like the radio show will be shifting to like you know Netflix type of situation, but hey, more information on that later. But I appreciate y'all always tuning in and supporting the artists that we bring on the show. See, when Мы возьмем котлеты на личных себе на сайт
завтра Сегодня завтра Не важно как я Yeah